Welcome to my weekly review. I'm just going to go over 10 stocks from MC Stock Charts that have been performing well for us. Sometimes in the stock market, you go cold and you don't have a feeling for the market. And, you know, every trade is a loser. And uh, that's when I take a time out and stop trading or trade small. And you get forced out of positions quickly. And then there are times when everything you touch just works and you're, you're on a hot streak. It's the same way when you go to the uh, Las Vegas and gamble. You know, sometimes you're ice cold, sometimes you're red hot. Well, right now we're pretty hot here at MC Stock Charts because stocks are working for us. And like I always say, that's a stock picker's market right now. I'm not even going to look at the indexes. And I'm just going to go over 10 stocks that are working for us. This is uh, Elf which has obviously been a big winner. It was strong in 2022, you know, when the oil and gas stocks were the only game in town, but it had a nice uh, run through 2022. And the beginning of the year in January, it had what I thought was profit taking and just some, you know, tech selling, right? So it went from 58 to what, 48. And I, there was a lot of negativity around this. It's done, you know, it's going to fold. And what did it do? It had earnings and it broke out 15% with 356% above average daily volume on February 2nd. It's just been running ever since. Pulled back to its 21 EMA one time, but it's been respecting the 10. And now, um, you know, just this last week, it looks, you know, climactic and toppy, but this thing could go much higher too. Um, that wouldn't surprise me. Um, I've been trimming like Edward Scissorhands, you know, during the week. Because, you know, I'm not greedy. And, you know, to me, if it pulls back, you know, I might rebuy it. <laughs> you know, like if it gets downgraded and comes back to 90 or something. But it's, uh, it's you know, 6.7% um, above the 10. So, yeah, um, I'm not opposed to uh, buying it, but just not here. And it looks real strong, looks toppy, looks climactic. But it's got this um, big blue volume bar. So somebody's buying it. It's not Aunt Sally. And that is not, you know, stuff that you can ignore. I mean, these are institutional uh, footprints. And you can see the um, cup with the handle and then the breakout and just ripping higher. There's nothing to do if you're a trend trader, but just hold it or like I did, trim it um, and just count your blessings and go buy yourself some Crocs. Speaking of Crocs, um, Let's go to Crocs here. I have all my footnotes on. I should take these off. This is uh, where we bought the stock on Crocs. This is um, November what third or something. It gapped higher. I don't know. It was around eighty bucks. That was your first, our first buy. And then I, you know, I tried to buy big on the first one and then little, add little one or two percent ads and then it pulled back to the fifty for the first time, and then uh, ramped up on earnings and then gave us this nice. Um, base it's formed this base and it broke above this downtrend line here about 128 i would say and that was the third buy and the last buy but now crocs has formed this nice cup pattern maybe a cup with hand we'll see the next week but it's reporting earnings on thursday turn this off it's annoying and uh wouldn't surprise me if they have a strong results we'll just see how the market responds to it but Croc has been a big winner for us. And I know a lot of people in uh, MC stock charts are into Croc. So congrats to those longs as well. A lot of people are on ON, ON. And this one, we had on our watch list for a long time. And I know people were getting really bored with this stock because it wouldn't do anything. But it just consolidated and formed this cup with handle pattern. And yeah, I know cup with handle patterns aren't working. Breakouts aren't working. But some are. And this one certainly did. And um, this is why, you know, sometimes you got to pay attention to these gaps higher with volume. And if uh, you didn't have it here before the breakout, this is an earnings breakout. It pulled back and formed this uh, pennant pattern or wedge pattern, whatever you want to call it, that uh, I kind of liked here. And we had this before uh, last um, Monday when, when it uh, broke broke higher on Monday. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I, was, I think it was Monday. Or maybe it was last Friday. Doesn't matter. It's been forming that little pennant pattern. We've been on this thing at 30. Thought 30 to 33 would be a good trade when it hit 33 on Friday uh, and loaded that trade. So that's a good 10% move and a good trade. If you're into, this is a weekly review, so we need to look at the weekly. If you're into uh, longer term holds and thinking this is going to be a big winner, that's fine too. You can see the very distinctive cup with handle pattern, the large breakout, little sideways flag action. And now it's uh, trading higher. So, um, uh, you know, what can you say? This one's leading that shoe group 
that uh, Crocs is in and Deckers and Nike, but uh, definitely the big winner this year. Anyway, I'm going to move on past uh, the shoes and and the retail group and take a look at some drugs. NVO is a stock that uh, I had uh, confided, a, a friend confided with me. He's a you know, financial manager back in the late 90s when I was trading Sun Microsystems in Qualcomm and Cisco Systems and eBay. He said, buy some of this because, um, you know, the his thesis was not the obesity in America, but that China was eating better and they're going to turn into Americans <laughs> as well. And this is not just an obesity or weight loss company, although that's where they get a majority of their revenues. But um, so I bought a little back in 99 and I wish I had bought more. I think I have this. Yeah. First, first share was bought in 99 and it's just been a huge winner for a long time, but you guys don't care about that. You care about what's going on recently. This had about a year of consolidation before it broke out. And this breakout has been working and it's been consolidating, you know, after breaking out, consolidated here, broke out, had a nice little consolidation pattern here for about, I don't know, eight weeks or so, and then pulled back to the 50. And then um, I forget what, there was some news here that drove it, dragged it down. But anyway, traded high, it's been trading higher, been ramping, pulled back to the 10, found support last week at the 10 and ramped another 4% on Friday. Um, <laughs> there's nothing to say here, but just, you know, it's a big winner, long-term winner. You know, if, I know people don't like drug stocks, but to me, this has been one of the big winners. And I just wanted to show that uh, drug stock because it's been helping us, uh, you know, in our portfolios. This is TGTX and it's a weekly review. So I'm going to look at the weekly. And this one had a, you know, penthouse here and the outhouse here. That's what these biotechs do. But it had this uh, distinct consolidation uh, stage one here broke out. They got approval for their um, multiple sclerosis drug, which was one of those breakouts. And then they launched it in January. And uh, it's it's been a big winner. And it came back. It was uh, 150 something above its 200 and then kind of pulled back, formed this consolidation. Gave us another buy point there at the 1959 standard buys and um, just ramping higher. People ask me all the time, when can I buy it? When can I buy it? Well, whenever you want. Uh, you know, uh, this is going to be, it's highly speculative, I'll say, because they have to execute the launch, but it also is a buyout target. It's got a 3.2 billion market cap. And um, it's still speculative because the drug isn't proven sales. It's got a lot of high praise, but they need a couple of quarterly uh, earnings reports, uh, you know, to prove that, you know, it's uh, making headway and gaining share in the market. And I believe it's the best in show. It's the cheapest. And I think they're going to do well. But anyway, I'm going to go back to another drug stock that uh, gap with a phase two uh, trial. This is highly speculative because they, it's not a drug yet. They just got positive data. This is in the white hot uh, weight loss space. You know, take this as a pill form. You take a pill and lose weight. You know, who doesn't want that, right? Uh, this would be uh, uh, definitely a buyout target, you know, even before they launch. You know, this could be button up, you know, the sharks are probably swirling around this one uh, with their positive data. Anyway, you know, that's is why we pay attention to, uh, you know, stocks that are up with volume. You got to know the reason why and, you know, the the uh, the stock itself. So uh, VKTX, definitely, um, definitely a winner. DHI was another one, just a recent one, just last week. We had on our watch list and our ready list, actually, this is just a cup with handle. And you really had to be patient with this one because this was a long, drawn out handle along the 50. But it started to, uh, you know, act well here. Uh, I think 97 area was the buy point. It ramped to like 110 after earnings. So that was a nice trade for those. The home building stocks have been strong. And I'm not just all about retail and uh, drugs. We like uh, other stocks too. The home builders doing well. Medical product stock. Lanthius, this one worked right away from us for us. I put it on the ready list. And I think the next day it broke out and just been ramping higher. You've got to take a look at the weeklies here. The big winner in 2022, and it consolidated for like six months and now had this cup with handle pattern and is ramping higher. This one has a great growth profile with the triple digit sales and earnings growth. Uh, growth. So you got to like that one. And then here's two that I missed, but I just wanted to show this because I wanted to show their character. And that this is what they do. <laughs> this one consolidated in a base and just ripped higher three or four days. Pulled back to the 50, did the same thing, just ripped higher for two days here. 
that's kind of what it does, right? And then again, languishing below the 50. And then the last two days is ripping higher on earnings. That's just his character. Um, I know people just hate trading stocks like this, but you just got to be patient and wait for them to move. And then sell when they spike like that. Um, the other one was TMDX, which is lulling people to sleep too. And that's kind of what it does. Broke out here, pulled back to the 50, you know, and then uh, more recently, you know, it made this nice consolidation pattern, but it languished a little bit below the, the 50. And then it did what it does. You know, it rips right through the 50 every time. Does it's doing it over and over again here, and that's just uh, that's just its character. That's just the pattern of the stock. So, it, you know, so what can you expect from here? Probably it'll pull back to its fifty in the next few uh, weeks or months. Anyway, it's got earnings on May first, and that's what's been working for us, and um, we're doing well. And we count our blessings, and we're going to go buy some Crocs with our winnings. Anyway, have a good weekend, everybody. See you Monday. We never give up.